I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Johnny. What's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She says that I hit her. What? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? Well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know. I got a question for you. Yeah. You think girls like to cheat like guys do? What makes you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I don't have to worry about that because Lisa's loyal to me. Yeah, man, you never know. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad, she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Welcome to my review for The Room, one of my most requested reviews I have ever had in my entire life. Now, this is the first review in a new segment on my channel. Now, if you remember my Batman and Robin review back in the day, I referred to Batman and Robin as a hilariosity. It's a word that I made up that describes a movie that is so bad that it is good. It is such an atrocity that it's hilarious. Hilariosity. My very first hilariosity review is for The Room, one of the best there ever was. The Room is one of the most fascinating movies I have ever seen in my life because as you watch the film, you are consistently wondering how in the world this happened. <laughs> if you do some research on the movie, you find that Tommy Wiseau, the star, the director, the writer, this is the guy that financed the entire movie as well, as well as having to replace his entire production crew halfway through the movie and get an entirely new one because of the fact that everyone was like, dude, what are you doing? This is horrible. What is The Room about? Okay, The Room is about a guy who's like a happy banker. I guess he's a banker, yeah. And he loves his fiance, Lisa. Except he never refers to her as his fiance. It's always, my future wife. It's like Tommy Wiseau didn't know what the word fiance meant as he wrote the script. He was like, uh, <laughs> what is the word for the future wife? Uh. We'll just call it future wife. However, Tommy's future wife, Lisa, is a total slut, and she's having sex with Mark, Johnny's best friend. All the while, there's this guy named Denny, this creepy neighborhood kid who likes to come over and every once in a while admits that he likes to watch them have sex. Yeah, he just walks in and's like, hey guys, <laughs> I'd just like to watch you. And they're like, uh, 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 that's funny, Denny. You know we love you. And he's just like, yeah, I like to watch you guys have sex. It's a lot of fun. You guys are awesome. You're my favorite people. The Room is a movie that is just consistently hilarious because of how truly awful it is. There are screenings of this movie all over the world, all the time. In Cleveland, where I live, they show this movie the first Saturday of every month at this one art house theater. They have you bring spoons to throw at the screen every single time a spoon-related photography image is in the background because there are spoons all over this movie. Why are the pictures of spoons everywhere? No one knows. It's just amazing. Also, Tommy Wiseau clearly couldn't think of any ways to construct scenes in this movie because he has like at least 50 minutes of this movie be characters talking while they throw a football around. I would say there's at least probably five full minutes of people throwing footballs in this movie. It's impossible to review The Room without mentioning the 1990s cheesy sex scenes. Even though this movie came out in 2003, the sex scenes in this movie are like Tommy Wiseau watched a bunch of 1984 porn and decided, you know what, I want to do this. We will do that. I want to have a whole bunch of sex with women in the belly button because I cannot actually have sex, I don't know how, and so I think it goes in the belly button, right? Belly button sex? Worst sex scenes ever filmed, best sex scenes ever filmed at the same time. <laughs> I did a parody of it in the beginning of this video, but perhaps the most famous scene in this movie is the rooftop conversation with Mark. I did not hit her, it's not true, it's bullshit, I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She said that I hit her. <sighs> what? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? Well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know? The dialogue in that scene is so thought-provoking, and it says true things about humanity. <laughs> It's freaking terrible. <laughs> it's, it's all terrible. I also can't go without mentioning the flower shop scene. In fact, I'm just gonna show it to you because there's no way that I can parody it correctly. There's no way that I can explain the amazement. You just have to watch the flower shop scene because it's the flower shop scene from the room. Please enjoy. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. 
How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Movies do not get better than this. They really don't. Yeah, they do. Movies get a lot better than this. One of the ways this movie actually became more famous is half because of Adult Swim, and I witnessed it happen. If you guys remember, years back, Adult Swim did one of their first April Fool's pranks. All night on April Fool's, they did nothing but continuously play The Room with the edited sex scenes. They had like weird bars over all the sex scenes. And I remember I turned on the channel and I was like, You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. From then on, The Room just kept developing this reputation for this amazing comedy. And if you want to have an amazing time watching a horrible movie, The Room is one of the best worst movies ever made. I fed up with this world. So on these types of reviews, I'm going to do a different type of grading scale. This movie for sure gets an F. I mean, it's... it's it's terrible. <laughs> However, on the hilariosity scale, this movie gets an A+, because it is truly amazing in that way. In that way and only in that way. If you guys want to get together with your friends and have a good laugh, or just with yourself and have a good laugh, I'm positive that The Room will do that for you. I will try to do more of these reviews as I see other films that I think are so bad that they're amazing. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. And if you like this, let me know and I'll do more. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck my eyes. Bye-bye. Hello, doggy. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know. I'm just sitting up here thinking you <laughs> Such a stupid lie. Stuff is all in my face. One thing this video told me is I will never ever have long hair, that's for sure. Disgusting. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Get this thing off me.